going on guys? What's the happy haps? Hope everybody's having a great week with this pandemic going on and there's no end in sight. Sorry to say, I figured I'd do something different with this video. Try to get everybody's mind off of it. Since this channel, my channel, I try to consist of uh, everything that is movies, I thought I'd do something different. It's not going to be a review and, and going to be obviously another unboxing or anything like that. But I'm basically going to go through the 117 year journey of filmmaking. Now, this isn't going to be exact, so forgive me if I leave some of the facts out. But during my research, I've jotted down as much as I could, especially the most important ones that I felt that I should share with y'all. And a lot of it is pretty interesting. For all you movie buffs out there like me, you'll find this interesting. As many of you know, a lot of things has changed from the silent picture era to now. With the physical and mental acting, and now you got technology that's way more advanced, from CGI to cameras to scoring and so much more. I will try to go through it as best I can. Again, if all the facts aren't there, you can do your own research. I have no problem with that. I encourage y'all to do that, which is what I did for this video. I did my own research, and I know I've left some things out, but the pivotal parts of what I want to say is definitely in this video so I hope you enjoy this is going to be a visualization is what I call it with images and everything as I talk so I help you get a better understanding of what I'm talking about so I hope you enjoy this video before I start I ask you to like subscribe and comment if you like this content and I'll see you on the other side Thomas Alva Edison, an American inventor and businessman, had a helping hand in motion pictures. He developed many devices such as the electric power generation which was installed at Edison Electric Company in New York in 1895, as well as mass communication, sound recording, the phonograph, the long-lasting practical light bulb, and motion picture camera. Though Edison provided resources for the motion picture camera, he played almost no role in the development of projector technology which followed. Although the first projector was called the Edison Vitascope, which was designed by Charles Francis Jenkins and Thomas Armet, the first design involved photographing a series of pictures on a cylinder that would then be viewed through a microscope as they turned. By 1918, Edison was out of the film business. Several shorts were filmed through the Edison Manufacturing Company, most notably Life of an American Fireman and the American silent short western film The Great Train Robbery, both directed by Edward Stanton Porter for the Edison Manufacturing Company in 1903. And speaking of The Great Train Robbery, I heard rumors, I don't know how true this is, I heard rumors that because people had no idea what motion pictures were at this time, there was a scene in that film where the train would come straight to the screen and people would just flock because everybody was thinking that it was real. They all thought they were going to die because nobody knew what a motion picture was. How true that is, I'm not sure. But I, I wouldn't really be surprised because that was a very different time. Silent Pictures was all Hollywood produced at the time. You had acting and motions. You would see the actors move their lips, then a blank screen with subtitles would follow indicating what was said.
No synchronized sound. It is believed that the world's earliest surviving motion picture film is a round hay garden scene. A short released in 1888 that was just over two seconds long. Though this could be rumors, everyone considers The Great Train Robbery to be the first official motion picture to dawn the cinema. In 1926, sound in film was a distinct possibility. The Vito phone, in which sound was recorded on a disc and then synchronized with the projector for proper playback, was invented. An orchestra would be physically playing in the background on set while filming. With the silent film Don Juan, which was released that same year, had proven that a huge orchestra was no longer necessary to provide a synchronized score to a motion picture. But it wasn't until Warner Brothers released their first public presentation, The Jazz Singer, in 1927. That film marked the first film to feature talking sequences. Which is why on October 6th of 1927 it remains one of the most decisive in the history of pop culture and changed the course of an industry, the expectations of the public, and forever altered the form of an art we all know today. There you have it, folks. And now, again, I know I left, I left a lot of things out, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some inspiration and some insight on how films was back then. This idea came to me after a friend of mine showed me an old 1919 video of how movies was made back then. And it was really, really interesting. So it just dawned on me that I had to make this video and show it to you guys. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward for more videos and reviews coming soon. Again, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you on the other side. Peace the rip out.